Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, people. How's everything there? Berenice Juan in Esmeralda, right? Good evening. I, hello, good evening. I thought I I just saw Daniel, but but Daniel is not over here. But Jose Daniel is here, right? Good evening. Hello, good, good evening. Okay, Michael just got into the into the game. Jancy also, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I got six people and still quitting. Now, yes, Daniel is trying to get into the class. Hello, Daniel. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Okay, we are two, four, six, seven people. Gladys got into the class. Vera Liz will be a listener tonight. And also Jose Daniel, right? So Berenice, I, I hope you're ready. Gladys, I hope you're ready. Chancy, same story. Hope you're ready to participate. Daniel, as always, Michael, and Juan. So be ready, right? So tonight, we're gonna to talk a little about hotels. Yesterday, I told you about about the topic, right? I told you to to get ready, right? To to participate, to add something to the class, so that the class can can become a better class. I know if we, I mean, if you try to do your best, you investigate vocabulary, um, maybe you see a video, or maybe you you have a reading on hotel reservations, for example. So, you. We 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 gain something, right? We improve something just, and we get familiarized with the topic. That's uh, something really important, North. So, Michael, how's everything there? No problems with no technical problems, people. So we are ready to start. Are we ready to start? No, no problem. No problems at all. That's something that I really like. Well, as soon as possible, first step is to check list attendance. Later, get back to the activities or have a brief, brief. Now, you learned the new word, uh, that word, right? Like a brief, brief review about the topic we studied yesterday. Now, give me. A minute. No, I got it. Aidan. Belen. If you're there, do me the favor to say hello, right? Daniel. Present teacher. Okay. Edgar Edilson. Gladys. Jonathan Josue. Jose Daniel. Present teacher. Juan Fernando. Present teacher. Maria Elba. Mario Cristobal. Verenice. I am here. Merlin. Hey, that's that's new, right? So Merlin is not out here. Michael. Present. Okay. Aníbal. Norma Xiomara. Present. Good. Norma. Ronald. Teresa María. Vera Liz. And Jansen. Present. Good, Jansen. Excellent. 
well as soon as possible because we are going to have a lot of work tonight people in the chat i understand that you you use the chat because you have technical problems right so but at least is a listener tonight and also i think uh, Claudia has some problems with her microphone that's why i understand so welcome everybody it's good to see you 10 people connected and later uh, i hope later everybody can get connected because Tonight, we're going to practice. We're going to learn a lot of vocabulary. Topics that we have been studying uh, have been very, very important, right? How to provide, how to give an advice, for example, the way to be polite, how to create like, an environment, a positive environment in, the, in our work, um, et cetera. So a lot of, a lot of info in a week. So this week's been, it's been very demanding, right? For you to study a, a second language. Well, I will start. So you see, as I, as I was just telling you, over here we have so expressions such as could you, would you mind, should and shouldn't or should not, Steps to write a formal email. Good etiquette and work uh, at the workplace. The vocabulary practice. I think this was the last one, right? So we're gonna see what's coming here. Okay. Hey, what's up? What's up? When typing an email, the following uh formal or informal. Hey, what's up? Informal. That's informal, okay? Formal. In a very quick way. Hey, best regards. Formal. 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 Informal or formal? Formal. Okay. Hey. Informal. Hey. Informal. I, I don't know how, how to say that, but this is how <laughs> hugs and kisses, right? You know, you know about it, right? Hug and kisses, right? So that's the meaning of these symbols, right? As far as I know, right? I understand this one. Hugs and kisses. Formal or informal? Informal. <laughs> that's informal, right? Now, uh, hello, Mr. or Miss. It's formal. Formal. Let's see the answers. Okay, quite good. All right. Now, when you communicate, when you communicate, what do you, what's the way you do it uh, mostly? Formal or informal? In a formal way or in an informal way? Most of the time. <laughs> In, for, in an informal way? So you send, like, do you send emoticons and like messages <clears throat> like this one? Yes or no, people? Only in the WhatsApp group, right? <laughs> okay, so, well, this was the topic yesterday, right? So I hope we are clear about it. And you know what? We're we're gonna start with the last. We're gonna see the. Give me a second. Yeah. So this is over, right? So we're gonna start uh, with the section number four. And in the section number four, we're gonna see hotel services and amenities. This is our topic, and as as you can see. This topic is the topic or uh, the topic number 16. And every every single uh, time you get into a course, uh, you know that we have like 20, 20, 20 uh, sessions, okay? In which we need to do our best, our best. Okay, I want, tomorrow we're gonna have the review with the info that's over here. 
So just right now, let us let us try to get familiarized with the topic that we're we're working tonight. Tonight. Okay, there are some goals, and the the, the goal that I have here says, uh, or the learning result, right? Some people call it goals, some other call it nowadays people call it like um a learning result or um, you know uh, but actually our main goal is to request information about travel services and accommodations related to business trip that is our topic so uh i have questions as always do you usually go on business trips people do you usually go on business trips? Do you Which usually? No, no, I do. Maybe you are you, you you maybe I don't know if you have experience going to a going to Brazil for a for a training or to France or to the United States or no? <laughs> no. I don't know if you no. Not really? Maybe to Mexico? Nothing, nothing. To San, to San Salvador? Yes. <laughs> to San Santa Salvador. Ana? San Miguel. Ah, to San Miguel. Okay, so the trainings are in uh, in the country, right? But not, to Guatemala? Yes. Ah, okay, now, now we're talking, right? Now we're talking. Okay. <laughs> Okay, that's that is fantastic. People are you see interacting. Hello, Merlin. Good to see you here. I was just wondering why you didn't show up, but fortunately you are over here. Good to see you. Now, what are three hotel services that you can mention, people, besides the ones that are over there, like a wake up call, business center, or laundry? Uh huh. Free wi Wi Fi. Okay. Wi-Fi, free Wi-Fi. Free Wi-Fi. Yeah, what else have you investigated about some of the um, uh, services that we can get in a in a hotel? It's because when we travel, some some sometimes it is necessary, right, to book a hotel and to stay okay. for a while. For, for serving in a room. Uh, okay. Okay. What else? Um, you can chat. You can chat the vocabulary here so that people can see what you are mentioning. Because tonight we need to get very familiarized with the topic. Well. Sooner or later, we're going to uh, be in need of re reserving or have a reservation for a hotel, right? So and we need to be familiar with the, with the vocabulary. Over here, it says that we need to read the conversation, that we need to practice it for a while, and mm, like practicing a, a phone call to a travel agency. That is everything about here. And Daniel, you're going to help me to read. And okay. Verenice, please. Okay. Mark's travel agency. How can I help you? Lo leo completo, entonces. It's physical. I don't know if Verenice is available tonight. Rosa. Oh, Michael, Michael. Mi Michael, Michael. Okay. I'm Rosa. <laughs> are you, <laughs> you are Michael Rose. Okay. Uh, Rose. Rose. Yeah, okay, Good Michael. morning. No, I'm kidding. Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. Uh, 14th. 14th. Sure. May I have your name, please? Uh, 
Of course, I am Rose. Rose Fuentes. Fuentes of Fuentes. 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 Thank you, Miss Fuentes. How long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? Mm, no. Smoking. Non-smoking, please. Are you going to need the shuttle service? Yes, please. Yes, please. Now, uh, Mark's travel agency. How can I help you? Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. Sure. May I have your knee, please? Of course. I'm Rosa Puentes. Thank you, Miss Puentes. How long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a, in a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking, please. Are you going to need a shadow service? Yes, please. Now, questions. I need a reservation. Okay, we're going to see some more vocabulary. This one, this is in, in bold, right? So what are we trying to do now is to get familiarized with the topic itself, right? So the other one is this expression is like very common also when having a phone call to book for a hotel or to have a reservation. How long are you going to stay? You can say I'm going to stay three days. Uh, a smoking or non-smoking room. What do you? What does it mean with a, a a smoking or non-smoking room? But in English, please explain it to me in English. What does it mean? A smoking or non-smoking room. What does it mean? It's uh two uh, rooms, two different rooms, and no smoking is room. Totally no smoking and a smoking is room special for a smoking in room. So, so we have two options there to have yes. a smoking room or a non smoking room. And you say that a smoking room is a room in which you, which you are allowed to smoke. Allowed to smoke and in a non smoking room is a, is a room in which you are not allowed to smoke. Simple like that. Thank you, Fernando. What about shadow service? Who, who, who wants to help me to explain this? Shadow service. Shadow service. Is a transport service, for example, from airport to hotel or to from hotel to airport. Okay, when traveling, we need transportation, right? And you can, if you're in need of a shuttle service, it's because you need to move from the airport to the hotel and vice versa, right? Vice and vice versa. Pretty good, simple like that, right? So, uh, I think we got familiarized with the topic. And now let me know if it is true or false, and then we're gonna see some more, some more information about the topic itself. Rosa needs a double room. True or false? False. Rosa, false. That's false, right? Rosa is going to stay for three days. It's true. That is true. Rosa is going to stay in a, in a smoking room. False. 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 And Rosa is going to rent a car at the airport. True. True. So she's going to rent a car? Uh, okay, it's a, a false. Service. False. Yeah, that's right. False. It's a, yes, it's false. That is false, false right? Because uh, I think she's going to get in contact with uh, 
or try to get the shuttle service, which is something different. But that was quite good, people. That's excellent. That was excellent. Well, now that we started with the topic, let us talk a little bit about something else. As you can see, we're gonna start with some vocabulary, people. I really recommend you to go to this page because this page contains a lot of info. Si quieren practicar mucho listening, mucha conversación, les recomiendo esta página. Es, es muy efectiva, la verdad. Y hay mucho ejercicio que practicar ahí. Va desde lo básico, intermedio y avanzado. Y allí ustedes son los dueños de su tiempo y de sus metas, de cuánto quieren avanzar. Ok. Lo que me compete por el momento a mí es compartirles e eh, introducirlos como a un mundo que es sumamente amplio en Internet ahora en día. Now, there are some types of accommodations, right? So I know that you have investigated some vocabulary and Juan Fernando, tell me what, what, what does it mean when I say type of accommodations? What does it mean? Where, where are accommodations people? Okay, so we're going to get familiarized with vocabulary. Now, first, we're, listen, we're, we're going to, I will play the track because the track is about vocabulary. We're going to do something. We're going to listen to, we're going to repeat. And then, uh, well, I will, I will ask uh, about the vocabulary, okay? Listen, and if you want, you can repeat that. Vocabulary on hotel accommodations, bed and breakfast guest house okay now I, I forgot to tell you that if you do not know an expression or a word do me the favor to look for it in a translator a dictionary okay that you may have uh, uh, there because later you're gonna share what you got al final le voy a preguntar del significado de las palabras okay um so hotel, let's see. Hotel. In. In. Resort. Resort. Youth hostel. Youth hostel. Cable TV. Cable TV. Check these ones in. are a minute, more a minute, it's right. Check out. Check in, check out. Connecting room. Connecting room. Continental breakfast. Continental breakfast. Handicap facilities. Handicap. Facility hot tub, hot tub, indoor heated pool, indoor outdoor heated outdoor pool. heated pool, kitchen, kitchen, kitchenette, kitchenette, microwave, microwave, queen size bed, queen size bed, now the king size, size bed. bed, king size bed, now you restaurant, restaurant. Roll away bed. A roll away. Uh, this is a good room one. rates. Room rates. Sitting, sitting area. Sitting area. Now some expressions that we Book may a use. Hotel. Book a hotel. Call the front desk. Call the front desk. Cancel a reservation. Cancel the reservation. Make a reservation. Make a reservation. Order room service. Oh, the room service. Okay, now, well, before going to the, the exercise, let's see. Bed and breakfast. Can you please explain that to me, people? What it's all about? Uh, it's a service uh, in the room. Uh, uh, the food. Okay, there's a person that takes your your 
your uh, I mean your breakfast or take the breakfast to your room. Okay. Okay. Guess house. What is it? Where's the guest house? In English, right? Of course. Too many famous explain it in English. It's a type of different hotels. It's and like a different hotel. It's a type. And uh, for example, uh, hotel. Uh, Family, family, uh, hotel vacation, hotel guest house. Uh, oh, okay. Thank you, Fernando. Hotel, how do you define the word hotel? How do it's you define a, uh -huh. It's a establishment to many service in accommodation, offering people at certain level a comfort and security during oh. these days. Okay, very good. Now we're going to listen. Vocabulary on hotel accommodations, bed and breakfast, guest house, hotel, in. Okay, how do you find this word? In. Yeah. What is it, people? Okay, hope you're investigating the word. In. Did you get it? Do you get it? Yes, Papa. That's what you got, right? A resort. 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 What is it then? Also investigate about youth hostel. Youth hostel. Youth hostel. Investigate about it. Now we play once again. You will investigate the words that you will have doubts about. Listen to this. Cable TV. Cable TV. Check Second in. Time. Check in, check out. What's check in, what's check out? Connecting room. Okay, check in. Now, did you get about resort, people? Do you get the meaning of this expression or this word? Resort? If... Is... It's a, it's a different type of the hotel or the service hotel? It's a different type of, of service that a, a, ho a, that a hotel no. can offer. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Yeah, that's so that's the idea, right? Youth hostel. What's a youth hostel? <coughs> Investigate the expression, please.
So we have a lot of expression here. So we're gonna we're gonna do something, right? Have amenities over here like cable TV, check in, check out, connecting room, continental breakfast. So we're gonna do something, people. Well, whenever whenever we get into a, a, an activity that you're gonna that you're gonna be in church of, then you are gonna take some time to get the idea about everything on here. It's because if I ask you about check in and check out. Connecting room, handicapped facilities, kitchen or kitchenette, microwave, railway bed. Hey, have you ever have you ever slept in a railway bed? Have you ever slept there? Just yes no. Room rates, seating area. So you see a lot of vocabulary. Book book a hotel, put the front desk, consider the reservation, make a reservation, order a room service. So well, I will share the link. Because actually we got familiarized with it. Right, give me a second. I got it over here and I share it with you in the chat. There you are. Don't worry because we're gonna get back with this vocabulary. Actually, you're gonna use it tonight. Don't worry about it, right? The task is not, it's not over. No se ha terminado con la tarea acá, okay? Este, este vocabulario de expresiones les va a servir más adelante. Listen. What do we have over here? We have a listening. Now, we saw a conversation. Now, we have a listening over here. We have, for example, uh, we're going to listen to a, a, a phone call. Now, can you please close microphone if you are not participating, please? I don't know who's, who's forgotten me. But thank you very much. You're very kind. Hey, over here, we have, we're going to practice, okay, for a while. Okay. We have a Robert, that Robert's going to, going to a conference next month. And he finds different places to find accommodation. And we have like three options over here in every single activity. And what really matters also is that you listen to it carefully. Here we go. Then we're going to solve the exercises. I will ask people individually. Voy a preguntar de manera individual, okay? Así que estén todos listos, por favor. Now, the first one, in the first phone call, Robert calls a guest house, a friend, his parents, the conference is second one. Now you're gonna be you're gonna listen to a date, 19th to 20th of May, 19th to the 21st, or 19th to the 23rd. Robert cannot stay with Sue because she is visiting her parents. Her parents are visiting her. She doesn't have a sofa, and that's it. Number four, in the second phone call, Robert calls a hotel, a bed and a breakfast. Uh, okay, a bed and breakfast, tooth hostel. Uh, number five, he wants a single room, a team room, or a double room. Robert doesn't book a room at the hotel because it is too expensive. He doesn't want to change rooms. The hotel is fully uh, booked on the uh, on all those dates. Number seven, at the guest house, the woman offers Robert a single room, a double room, a triple room, and the room is on the top floor, has a private bathroom, doesn't have a television. And number nine, the guest house has a lift, 
has a bathroom on every floor, serves a breakfast at no extra cost. And the last one, to book the room, Robert needs to pay the full price now, pay to bid a deposit or give his credit card details. Okay, here we go. So be ready, please. And actually, I would do something better. I will share the link. So if you if you want to practice it by your own, you can do it. Okay, and that's better. I think I will give you like five minutes. Let's gastémonos. No, no gastémonos. Invirtamos cinco minutos en que hagan este ejercicio. Okay, five minutes. Five minutes. Ahí les compartí en el chat el enlace para que ustedes lo puedan desarrollar. Luego voy a ir preguntando uno por uno que nos expliquen qué es lo que sucedió en la conversación y por qué eligen tal o cual respuesta. Here we go, five minutes, cinco minutos. So uh, raise your hand when you finish, please, so that I, I will have the idea about the people who already finished. Cuando terminen, por favor, colocan ahí la, levantan la mano para yo ver que ya terminaron y empezar a trabajar con lo que ustedes escucharon.
Okay, only Fernando, I can see Fernando already finished, right? So it means that the time has been enough. I wonder what happened with the rest. Aníbal, are you done? What about the rest? What about the rest? So we're, we're gonna play well I will play doing here then we're gonna you're gonna tell me the, the, the answers that you have gotten okay okay people well listen let's listen okay uh Aníbal is not ready okay Aníbal I think you are, you are you are listening to the audio yet. Okay, you have two two minutes more. Okay, two minutes more, people.
Okay, I think. Uh, you were able to finish it, right? What did you get in the first, people? Robert calls. A uh, guest. Yes. Oh. A, a friend. He called he called a friend. Yes. Okay, now you got it, all right? Now, when's the date for the conference? 19 to 23rd of May. The 21st? Uh, 23rd. 23rd. Uh, 23rd. Yeah. Good. Robert can stay with Sue because because of what? Your parents are visiting here. Your parents are visiting. Her parents are visiting here. Good. In the second phone call, Robert calls a hotel. A hotel. A hotel. Robert wants a single room. Single room. Single room. Robert doesn't look, doesn't book a room at the hotel because he doesn't want to change uh, the rooms. He doesn't want to change rooms. At the guest house, the woman offers Robert a double room. A double room. Yes. The room is on the top on the floor. Top floor. Excellent. Okay, it's let's see if we, if we did it. Let's see if we, yeah, that's right. The guest house. The service breakfast at no extra cost. Service serves breakfast at no extra cost. Excellent. That seems to be a good one. Hey, to book the room, Robert needs to. Give credit card the table. Give his credit card. Okay, now 10 from 10 should do it, right? The script is over here. So and, uh, you see exactly what the what's, what was the conversation all about. Okay, so you have a lot to see it here. It's because the conversation is a little bit long. All right? So far, so good, people. Todo bien hasta el momento? Yes, sir. Okay, yes. no problems. We are just getting familiarized with the topic. We now we know more a, a little bit more about about certain expressions that may appear in a in a conversation when traveling. Okay, about traveling, about um about booking a hotel into a hotel. Good. Now you see over here. We have another conversation. Hey, teacher, but too many conversations. Actually, I don't consider it like they are like too many. I, I, I only included like two vocabulary, conversation one, conversation two. Plus the conversation uh, I used to introduce the topic tonight. So over here, we're going to learn in uh, some idioms, right? So we do it, we, we say them. We say them in um, in Spanish, yeah, sometimes. They are not uh, that common, but we we use them, especially the second one. Now, roll out the red carpet. Ro sorry, roll out the red carpet. What's the meaning? Give a very special treatment to welcome guests. Roll out the red carpet. Roll out the red carpet to give the very special treatment to welcome somebody or some uh, some guests. The nice, the nice thing about the hotel is that they always rolled out the red carpet for the guest. Now, did you get it? Se les quedó este idiom, esta frase. Roll out the red carpet, roll out the red carpet. It is simple, right? So a new one. 
we're not maybe we're not gonna use it that frequently, but it's important to to learn, right? And what about 24-7? 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The front desk is open 24 uh, seven. In case you need uh, assistance. Now, yes, we're gonna listen to it. We have more questions here, different conversation, right? But, very similar, very similar in with the topic that we are discussing. Over here, uh, we have some expressions, but now we're gonna do the opposite. Ahora vamos a hacer lo opuesto. No vamos a leer los ejercicios en sí, sino solo vamos a escuchar y vamos a tratar de retener la información. Okay? Okay. A different, a different exercise. Here we go. Traten de retener la información en sus mentes. Here we go. Hello, Sunnyside Inn. May I help you? Yes, I'd like to reserve a room for two on the 21st of March. Okay. Let me check our computer here for a moment. Okay. The 21st of May, right? No, March, not May. Oh, sorry. Let me see here. Hmm. Are you all booked that night? Well, we have one suite available, complete with a kitchenette and sauna bath. Okay. And the view of the city is great, too. How much is that? It's only $200 Ooh. plus a 10% room tax. Oh, that's a little too expensive for me. Do you have a cheaper room available, either on the 20th or the 22nd? Well, would you like a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking, please. Okay. We do have a few rooms available on the 20th. We're full on the 22nd, unless you want a smoking room. Well, how much is the non-smoking room on the 20th? $80 plus the 10% mm. room tax. Okay, that'll be fine. All right. Could I have your name, please? Yes, it's Bob Maxner. How do you spell your last name, Mr. Maxner? It's M-A-E-X-N-E-R. Okay, Mr. Maxner. We look forward to seeing you on March 20th. Okay, goodbye. Okay, goodbye. Now, you hear the body, right? And we're going to listen to it in, in, uh, once again. Lo vamos a escuchar nuevamente, pero ahora tomen apunte de lo que ustedes consideren es necesario como, como dejarlo plasmado por ahí en un cuadernito o algo para luego hacer los ejercicios. Okay, ready? Ready? Ready. Good. Ahora sí, tomen apunte de lo que ustedes consideren va a ser necesario utilizar en el ejercicio. Hello, Sunnyside Inn. May I help you? Yes, I'd like to reserve a room for two on the 21st of March. Okay. Let me check our computer here for a moment. Okay. The 21st of May, right? No, March, not May. Oh, sorry. Let me see here. Hmm... Are you all booked that night? Well, we have one suite available, complete with a kitchenette and sauna bath. Okay. And the view of the city is great, too. How much is that? It's only $200 Ooh. plus a 10% room tax. Oh, that's a little too expensive for me. Do you have a cheaper room available, either on the 20th or the 22nd? Well, would you like a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking, please. Okay. We do have a few rooms available on the 20th. We're full on the 22nd, unless you want a smoking room. Well, how much is the non-smoking room on the 20th? $80 plus the 10% mm. room tax. Okay, that'll be fine. All right. Could I have your name, please? Yes, it's Bob Maxner. How do you spell your last name, Mr. Maxner? It's M-A-E-X-N-E-R. Okay, Mr. Maxner. We look forward to seeing you on March 20th. Okay, goodbye. All right, so we are, are we ready? Yes. <laughs> yeah, okay, let us try. Just try. <laughs> yeah, the man finally makes a reservation for March, but when exactly? March the 2nd, March the 20th, or March the 21st? March the 20th. 20th. The 20th. Number two. Yes. The second one. Good. 
Okay, we do have a few rooms available on the 20th. We're full on the 22nd, unless you want a smoking room. Okay, so that was correct. What kind of room does the man prefer? A smoking? Uh, either uh, one of these is okay, or a non-smoking room? A non-smoking room. A non-smoking? Non-smoking. Good. Well, would you like smoking or a non-smoking room? And he says, non-smoking, please. Why doesn't he want to receive a, a, a suite? It's too expensive. It's expensive. It's too expensive. Uh, how much is it? Yes. Two thousand bucks. Two thousand bucks. Okay, and the other one is eighty bucks, right? The room costs plus tax. Eighty dollars. Eighty bucks. Eighty dollars. Eighty dollars plus the ten percent room tax. How do you spell the man's name? How do you spell it? M A E X N I. Huh? Maxner. Maxner. How do you spell Maxner? A M A X N D R. M A X N E R. That's the one you said. Yes. Yes. Okay, you said the third one. Wow, my goodness, what's not that? What's the first one? Right? No, teacher, I see no. <laughs> Oops, I'm sorry, but that's that's the one you said. That's why I ch I chose this one, right? <laughs> yeah. It was a good try, right? So M A E X N E R. Wow, we almost got it, right? So that was fantastic. Okay, that was quite good. So we're almost getting into the part that you are going to start working with. Oops, this hotel reading is really good. But, well, so far we have started, we have practiced our listening. Se han fijado que esta noche hemos trabajado más en listening. Okay, listen. But anyways, uh, we're going to work we're gonna work with our speaking also, right? So uh, whenever you see this info in the part, say, see, listen script is because you're gonna be able to listen to and to read the, the, the information at the same time. Like for example, the one we have here, now it says listen to the recording on, a, on hotel reservations and read along with the conversation, review the key vocabulary and the sample sentences now when i play it over here i can listen to and i can read at the same time hello sunny side in may i help you yes i'd like to reserve a room for two on the 21st of march okay let me check our computer here for a moment okay the 21st of may right no march not may oh sorry let me see here hmm are you all booked that night well, we have one suite available, complete with a kitchenette and sauna bath. Okay. And the view of the city is great, too. How much is that? It's only $200 Ooh. plus a 10% room tax. Oh, that's a little too expensive for me. Do you have a cheaper room available, either on the 20th or the 22nd? Well, would you like a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking, please. Okay. We do have a few rooms available on the 20th. We're full on the 22nd, unless you want a smoking room. Well, how much is the non-smoking room on the 20th? $80 plus the 10% mm. room tax. Okay, that'll be fine. All right. Could I have your name, please? Yes. It's Bob Maxner. How do you spell your last name, Mr. Maxner? It's M-A-E-X-N-E-R. Okay, Mr. Maxner. We look forward to seeing you on March 20th. Okay, goodbye. Okay, now we could read and we could listen to. And when we read the information, we can look for certain vocabulary. Vocabulary that was not uh, presented yet. Like, for example, book. What is the meaning of that verb? Over here is a verb, right? Sometimes it's a noun, but over here is a verb. What's the meaning? Mm 
Reserve. Reserve. Yeah, that is the meaning, right? Let's book a room. Let's book a room at a cheap hotel in the city. Okay? Book, book, reserve, book, reserve. Sweet. What is it? Can, can, can somebody help me to read? A group of connected rooms at a hotel. Example? Mm, I, decide. I decide to rest with a suite for a honeymoon. A honeymoon. Mm. Hey, that's a good. But you know, honeymoon in a hotel. Well, I don't think that's <laughs> that's really romantic, right? I don't think that's Do you think it's romantic? Mil rooms. Mil, mil moons. Like, honeymoon. Okay, honeymoon in, in a hotel. Do you think it's a good idea, people? <laughs> let's, let's listen to the ladies. Uh, Berenice, you think it's a good idea? Yeah, because it's romantic by my credit card. I don't think the same thing. <laughs> well, actually, I don't know, but it's because I'm a little bit different, right? I don't think it's a, it's a good idea to be or to have a honeymoon there. Something that yeah. I, uh -huh, tell me. <laughs> uh, you are thinking. <laughs> of, you are thinking on planning your your honeymoon, Michael. <laughs> good, good. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> She's thinking about. Nothing. Nothing, nothing thinking, for. Uh, you were thinking aloud, right? Stop pensando en voz alta, Michael. Okay. Okay. Don't worry, Michael. It's all right. <laughs> Okay, okay. You you can plan. You can you can you can have your own plans. Okay. In hey. the future, maybe. <laughs> near future, near future. Huh? Near future, yes. <laughs> okay. Now listen. Estoy observando que todavía tienen problemas con estos, con estos verbos. ¿Quién es de? Sucede sucede algo con esto. Lo siguieron practicando, buscaron algún enlace. Porque. No, no es la primera vez que lo noto. De hecho, pues. Es, es, creo que es necesario que, que se vuelva a hacer un repaso de esto. Acuérdense que pasado simple. Como todos los tiempos en inglés es importante, ¿verdad? Pero cuando nos vayamos a un contexto en donde nosotros querramos expresar algo en pasado, debemos de tratar de que él, que, o, él o la persona que nos está escuchando obtenga el mensaje de la manera correcta. Now, where's a, a kitchenette? A very small kitchen, right? My first apartment, my first apartment was very small and I only had a kitchen. I really like this page because we can we can have a lot of lot of info uh, in with with one simple with one simple conversation. Okay? There are some other exercises but we're gonna like we're gonna we're gonna stay here and we're, let me see we still have a lot of time. That's really good. And I will share the link. Y ahora sí. Vamos a tratar de utilizar lo que hemos estado estudiando hasta el momento. Now, you are going to create something. Van a decirnos que van de viaje. Van a trabajar en, en pareja. En grupos de tres igual que ayer. Ayer funcionó muy bien los grupos de tres. Y van a, van a, bueno, 
uno, alguno de, uno de, del grupo va a viajar. O pues va de luna de miel, o hay una, algo especial. La cosa es que va a viajar. Pero eh, el enlace, el, el otro enlace de la conversación, nos deja como... Miren, este es, este es una, un ejemplo... Este es un ejemplo bien, bien cortito. Aquí ¿okay? el que nos presenta el PDF. Pueden tomar en consideración este. O pueden tomar en consideración. Este que es un poco más largo. ¿Ok? Tenemos opciones. Pero quiero que presten atención una última vez a este audio y quiero que se fijen en el ritmo en, en el que ellos hablan, ¿ok? Porque tenemos que buscar ese ritmo, tenemos que tratar de lograr obtener ese ritmo, ¿ok? Y eso es lo que vamos a tratar de hacer. Hello, Sunnyside Inn. May I help you? Yes, I'd like to reserve a room for two on the 21st of March. Okay. Let me check our computer here for a moment. Okay. The 21st of May, right? No, March, not May. Oh, sorry. Let me see here. Hmm. Are you all booked that night? Well, we have one suite available, complete with a kitchenette and sauna bath. Okay. And the view of the city is great, too. How much is that? It's only $200 Ooh. plus a 10% room tax. Oh, that's a little too expensive for me. Do you have a cheaper room available either on the 20th or the 22nd? Well, would you like a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking, please. Okay. We do have a few rooms available on the 20th. We're full on the 22nd unless you want a smoking room. Well, how much is the non-smoking room on the 20th? $80 plus the 10% mm. room tax. Okay, that'll be fine. All right. Could I have your name, please? Yes. It's Bob Maxner. How do you spell your last name, Mr. Maxner? It's M-A-E-X-N-E-R. Okay, Mr. Maxner. We look forward to seeing you on March 20th. Okay, goodbye. Okay, goodbye. Now, ¿qué notaron de la conversación? ¿Lo hacen como muy lento o, o es muy fluida la conversación? Es fluido, teacher. Ah, fluido. Very, very, very fluency. Vaya, ahora vamos a trabajar en eso que llamamos fluency. Fluency. Michael said it, right? Fluency. Y very so fast the conversation. Yeah, I know. That's why I chose it. Lo sé, por eso la elegí. Porque sé que, le, que nos va a servir mucho. Um, necesito que... Hagamos los grupos y que trabajemos en una conversación. Yo les sugiero que si no toman en cuenta esta, que busquen otra en, en internet. Que no la vayan a crear ahorita, sino que busquen una. Y que practiquemos la fluidez. ¿Ok? Y al mismo tiempo, ya luego de esta actividad, ustedes nos van a mostrar la tarea que hicieron, que investigaron de, de hoteles, ¿ok? Ayer yo les dije que eh, pues ahora iban a compartir algo de, de ello. Así que vamos a trabajar ahorita. Let's see. So we're going to work in trios. We're going to spend like, I think with 20 minutes will be all right. 15 to 20, okay, 15 to 20 minutes. I will check the groups. Voy a, voy a estar entrando a los grupos um, para ver qué tipo de conversación lograron obtener y así valorar el tiempo. 
alrededor de 15 o 20 minutos vamos a invertir en esta actividad, ¿ok? Here we go. Hi, hi. Hello. Hola, Michael. Este, bueno, hacemos lo de la página o tiene algo allí. Ah, uh... No sé si gusta que busquemos por fuera, pienso yo. ¿Y cómo hacemos para, para compartirlo? Porque usted no puede ahí va, compartir la pantalla. No, la pantalla no. Y si... Hacemos del PDF y le vamos agregando más, 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 como más vocabulario. ¿Cuál PDF, May? Del módulo. O sea, ah, del, del libro. Ya. Yeah. Porque usted en compu está, ¿verdad? No, estoy en teléfono. Ah, por eso se me hace difícil. Sí. <ríe> Pero de ningún modo. Vale, vamos así entonces, saquemos lo del libro, de lo del PDF. Uh -huh. Y Ronan, no, no está activo quizá. Creo que solo está de Lisa. Mm -hmm. Bueno, bueno. Se me va a dar la luz prendida. ¿Qué página era? La treinta y nueve. So, Edgar, Norma, did you get into an agreement? Oh, oh. okay. Hello, teacher. Hello, Norma. Hello. Hello, hello. Hola, teacher. Hello, Norma. Do you listen to me? Yes. So, is there any, any problem? Ah, pues creo que nadie se ha conectado. I think, let me see. Jose is a listener, but 
I Not thought enough. Edgar is, is available, but let me see the chat. Otherwise, Edgar, Edgar, can you listen to me, Edgar? Well, I will try to I will try to send somebody else here, Norma, so that you can practice. Okay. Okay, let me see. I will include you in Aníbal's group, Norma. Okay, okay, teacher. How long are you planning to stay? Customer, two weeks. We will spend our vacation in a club. Desk clerk, that sounds like fun. Here is your key. The room number is 213. Thanks for choosing us and enjoy your stay. Customer, thank you. Desk clerk, good afternoon, Mr. May I help you? Customer, yes, my name is Peter Nielsen. I have a reservation for two. Desk clerk, let me see, Nielsen you said. No I can't find it. How long ago did you make the reservation? Customer, about a two month ago. Desk clerk, do you know the exact date? Customer, give me a second, I think I have it in my agenda. Yes, it was the 15th of July. Desk clerk, okay, I found it. The problem was that someone forgot to write your name on the main list. Customer, is everything in order? Desk clerk, yes, sir. There's no problem. Fill out this registration card please. Customer, here it is. Desk clerk. How long are you planning to stay? Customer, two weeks. We will spend our vacation in a club. Desk clerk, that sounds like fun. Here is your key. The room number is 213. Thanks for choosing us and enjoy your stay. Customer, thank you. Okay. Sir customer, get a mercy oil. Desk clerk. Good afternoon, Mr. May I help you? Yes, my name is Peter Inso. I have a reservation for two. Customer. Desk clerk, let me see, Nielsen you said. No, I can't find it. How long ago did you make the reservation? About reservation? Two. Customer. About about two months ago. Desk clerk, do you know the exact date? Give me a second. I think I have a... room. What's the room rate for night? Adon. We do have one room available for that date. 
It's $100 a night, so that comes to $340 for the three nights plus tax included. Mario, yes, that's fine. Adon, great. Let me fill the reservation form. Can, may I take, have your full name, please? Mario, yes, it's Susan Banks. Do I need to pay a deposit? Adon, yes, thank you, Miss Banks. Can I just get your credit card number to make the booking? Is there anything else I can help you with? Mario, yes, could I have a confirmation email to me? Adon, sure, what's your email address? I'll send that over to you now. Mario, thank you. Adon, you're welcome. We look forward to seeing you on the dates you've booked. Adon, how can I help you? Mario, hello. I'd like to make a reservation, a booking for a standard double room. Do you have any rooms available? Adon, yes, of course. When would you like to check in? And how many nights would that be for? Mario, on March 2nd for three nights. How much is the daily rate for a double room? What's the room rate per night? Adon, we do have one room available for that day. It's $100 a night, so that comes to $340 for the three nights plus tax included. Mario, yes, that's fine. Adon, great. Let me fill the reservation form. Can, may I take, have your full name, please? Mario. Yes, it's Susan Banks. Do I need to pay a deposit? Adon, yes, thank you, Miss Banks. Can I just get your credit card number to make the booking? Is there anything else I can help you with? Mario, yes, could I have a confirmation emailed to me? Adon, sure, what's your email address? I'll send that over to you now. Mario, thank you. Adon, you're welcome. We look forward to seeing you on the dates you've booked. Hola, Mario. Sure, no problem. When is it exactly? From the is the I know se como se lee esto. Nineteen is nineteen to the ah to the twenty first. Twenty first of May. Of May. Fine, I'll just write or uh, I just write it on the calendar. Oh. Uh, what's up? I forgot my parents are staying with us that week. There won't be room for you. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. I'll find another place. Come and see me when you're here. I will. Bye for, bye for now. See you. Entonces hoy, hoy la segunda, usted con, con, con Aníbal. Ok, empieza entonces. Uh -huh. Hello, Plaza Hotel Liverpool. Hello, I'd like, I'd like to book a room, please, from the 70 uh, to the 23rd of May. 
Single or double? Double. Single things. I use chess and I am fry where fully booked on the uh, 90 and 20 can I do swing room for the other night? Mm, well, I don't really want to change rooms in the middle and the conference how much is it uh, at night? Ah, uh, uy, este número. 95. Night five. Night five in the included bed fat. Mm, it's a bit expensive, but that's okay. My company is paying. Okay. Well, I live in for now. Thanks. Uh, we'll call back it. Uh, I can't find any, anything else. Okay, thank you for calling. Calling. Thank calling. you. Okay, thank you for calling. Thank you for calling. Continuamos. Comienzo yo. ¿Con quién? Con Norma. Conmigo, entonces. Ajá. La siguiente con Norma. Esto no lo han compartido. Eh... ¿Cómo? Eh, por el me, por me. Ah, como no, es la conversación que el teacher compartió en el, en el chat del, del Zoom. Pero de Zoom está normal. No ah, WhatsApp. ok. Ok, ok, gracias. ¿Puedo empezar a usted o empezaba yo? Hello, Cuando amigo. hablamos... Cuando hagamos la presentación, ¿quién va a empezar para ponernos de acuerdo? Empiece usted con Aníbal y después sigue, diga, Aníbal conmigo. En la segunda, Daniel. En la segunda, no. ajá. En ah, la okay. primera usted con Norma y en la segunda. ¿Quieren ir? Sí, ya. Yeah. And you practice with me. <laughs> okay. Uy. Yes. Okay. Well, no, good night, Mr. Hell. Mike, I have you. Yes, my name is Peter Neil, so I have a reservation for two. For two, for two. Let me see, Nilson, you say. Mm, no, I can't find it. How long you did you make your reservation? About two months ago. Do you know the exact day? Give me a second. I think I have, I have it in my agenda. Yes, it was the 16th of July. Okay, I found it. Uh, the problem was that someone forgot to write your name on the main list. It is, it is everything in order. Is everything in order? It is. It's everything. It's everything in in order. It's everything in order. In order. It's, it's everything. Okay. It's everything. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. There's no problem. Find out this registration card, please. Uh, here it is. How long? Pardon. How long are you planning to stay? Two weeks we will spend our vacation in a club. Uh, that's a like fun. Okay, here is UK. The, the room is number 2013. Thank you for choosing you and enjoy your stay. Uh, thank you. Eh, ¿Cómo se lee 15? 
Pero si me lleva la S y la E a H, Ay, sería ajá, fi eh. fi fifteen con Z. Ajá, ajá. Fifteen. Una determinación de como una D. D, T. Ajá, fifteen. Y... Agenda, ¿cómo sería? Porque yo le digo a agenda o agenda. No sé, permítame. Agenda, yo creo que agenda, ¿eh? Mira, me parece conocido. Agenda. Ego. Is everything in order? Is everything in order? In order? In order? It's, it's, it's everything in order? In order? It's everything in order? Okay. Eso sí, no puedo escucharlo como se dice. Espérame, no veo. It is the agenda, right? I'm sorry to interrupt. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I'm sorry to interrupt. And actually, we are missing like two or three minutes and we're going to get back to the general meeting, okay?
Okay. I hope that you are more than ready. Okay, remember that the activity was for you to put into practice fluency pronunciation. Fluency pronunciation, right? So uh, uh, we're gonna we're gonna notice todos vamos a, a poner o prestar nuestra atención a la manera en que lo hacen eh, nuestros compañeros y al final pues si podemos dar algún consejo para que mejoremos pues lo hacemos ok so let me see I have group number one that's Berenice and Michael as soon as possible because time is running we are missing only 20 minutes so you see 20 precious minutes okay Michael and Berenice please Is Michael here? Michael, are you here? Lo sacó de la sesión, teacher. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry about it. So we're gonna try with somebody else. Michael is gonna get into the class late, you will see. What a problem with it. Okay, let's see, uh, Aidan and Mario. Mario creo que estaba quizás como oyente porque no pude comunicarme con él. Are you couldn't? Oh, I'm sorry. So, but did, did you practice Aidan a little bit? Did you practice the conversation? Yes. Okay. What, uh, do me the favor to, to read it. One moment, please. Okay. So after Aidan, we're going to listen to. Tell me. Uh, si otra, pasar con ah, okay. Thank you, Fernando. Uh, after Aidan, uh, Fernando is going to continue, right? Okay. Right. Okay. How can I help you? Hello, I'd like to make a reservation, a booking for a stand room. Do you have any room uh, able? Yes, I, of course. When would you like to check in? And how many night would that be for? When March uh, second for the night, how much is the daily rate for a double room? What the room rate uh, per night? We do have one room available for that uh, date. It's uh, 100 a night to so that come to um, 340 the, for the three night plus tax in, included. Yes, that's fine. Thank you. Great. Let me file the reservation from can may I tie make I take how your full name, please? Yes, it's Mario Gonzalez. Do I need to pay a deposit? Yes, thank you, Mr. Gonzalez. Can I just get your credit care number to make the booking? Is there anything else I can help you with? Yes, could, could I have a confirmation email to me? Sure, what's your email address? You'll send that over to you now. now. Thank you, you're welcome. We look forward to seeing you on the day you book it. Finish, teacher. Thank you, Aidan. Thank you very much. At the end, I will provide some feedback. Don't worry, okay? That was good effort. Thank you, Aidan. Okay? 
Let me see. Oh, now, Fernando, you, you, you said it, right? <clears throat> so let's pay attention to a Fernando script. Darling is here? Yes, here. Okay. Uh, your presentation or, um, or I? Oh no, I. That's right. One moment. Okay. Okay. Um, good afternoon, Mr. May. I help you? Yes, my name is Peter Nason. I have a reservation for two. Let me see. Nilsson, you said, no, I can't. I No, I can't find it. How long ago did you make the reservation? About two months ago. Mm, do you know the exact date? Give me a second. I think I have a I have it in my agenda. Yes. It was a uh, 13th of July. Okay. I found it. Uh, the problem was that someone forgot to write your name on the main list. Is everything in order? Yes, yes, sir. Uh, there is no problem. Fill out this registration card, please. Here it is. Uh, how long are you planning to stay? Two weeks we will spend our vacation in a club. Mm, that sounds like fun. Here is your key. The room number is 213. Uh, thank, thanks for choosing for choosing us and us and enjoy your stay. Thank you. Okay. Only that. Minutes, teacher. Thank you very much. All right. I was just listening to you when you were practicing, and well, you know, well, I, I will, I will say something at the end. I don't know if there is a, a another a group. Somebody yes, want... we have the same. You had the same. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, I think everybody participated, right? Uh, so Mario, Mario, I don't know if you could solve the problem. Cristobal. Well, let me see, it's because we are we're missing like twelve minutes more. Well, in general, people, I, I consider that we're in the right track. Creo que vamos por buen camino, ¿ok? Y, pero quiero que estemos conscientes de que cada vez se le va a pedir un poquito más de esfuerzo, que, que continuemos practicando, ¿verdad? Um, siempre busquemos... Hablar de una manera natural, no muy pausado, sino tratar de hacer una conversación amena, así como la que escucharon en el audio, muy fluida. Y por supuesto, nosotros que somos aprendices del segundo idioma, asegurarnos de la pronunciación. ¿Okay? No, le voy a decir una frase que es, don't take it for granted. No lo tomen como que, digamos, ya esta palabra yo ya creo que así es, creo, creo. Ese creo me está diciendo que estoy que a un 80% seguro que así se pronuncia. 
Entonces, a lo mejor, pues, se pronuncia así, pero no tenemos la seguridad eh, íntegra de que así, así es la pronunciación de la palabra. Entonces, nosotros como aprendices tenemos que estar constantemente. Yo realmente, pues, eh, trato de... de, de Estar como verificar cada palabra, cada sonido, lo hago de manera constante porque como ustedes saben, yo no soy un nativo. Entonces nosotros que no somos nativos y que estamos en esto de, de aprender un segundo idioma, nos compete siempre eh, estar muy atentos de los detalles, muy atentos de los detalles, ¿ok? Cuando uno habla con los norteamericanos, con las personas nativas, pues ellos seguramente, pues ellos se admiran mucho de, de lo que nosotros hemos aprendido, porque para ellos creo que es más difícil aprender el español. Y ellos comprenden, la verdad sí comprenden cuando uno dice mispronounces a word, unas veces no pronunciamos bien una palabra, ellos entienden que es porque no somos nativos. Más sin embargo, eso no, no puede ser como la excusa, ¿verdad? Sino pues tratar de siempre pronunciar bien, especialmente porque hay palabras que tienden a confundirse y podemos dar un mensaje equivocado cuando estemos hablando. ¿Ok? Lo que yo les dije ahora de los verbos es, es que ahí tenemos tarea. No, no vamos a soltar eso de los verbos porque... Más adelante se vienen unos temas como presente perfecto, pasado perfecto, futuro perfecto. Y resulta que en todos esos tiempos se va a estar utilizando esa pronunciación. Y si ahorita no tomamos el hábito de, de adquirir sonidos, los sonidos correctos, pues vamos a irnos tropezando eh, nivel por nivel. O sea, nivel por nivel vamos a ir tropezando con, con ese problema. Entonces, el llamado es a que siempre estén invirtiendo un poquito de su tiempo en alguna aplicación, en algún video, en donde se logre visualizar y escuchar la pronunciación de las palabras. Además de eso, pues a lo mejor un día, pues el día lunes me pueden sorprender y decirme, teacher, si ustedes se fijan al inicio, siempre tra trato de hacer un par de minutos como para, para esperar a que todos logren integrarse. Pero no me gusta como quedarme callado porque siento que no estamos invirtiendo bien el tiempo. Entonces, en, eh, a lo mejor alguien, pues el, 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 en las próximas sesiones o con los docentes que, que van a tener en próxima ocasión, ustedes se preparen con un pequeño speech o con, con algo que con lo que ustedes quieran sorprender al grupo, ¿verdad? sorprendernos a todos de que se están viendo como avances. Yo estoy haciendo esto de mi parte, estoy aprendiendo esto. El teacher, pues, estamos viendo la cuestión de los hoteles y pues yo quiero sorprender a todos con esta información, lo pueden hacer, ¿ok? Eh, por lo menos acá, en, en, en este espacio, tienen las puertas abiertas. Yo siempre les he dicho que el único que pone barrera en mis cursos de hasta donde quieren aprender son ustedes. Porque de mi parte, pues ustedes tienen eh, la posibilidad de ir y aprender con tan solo dar un clic en, en un enlace eh, de inglés. Ok. Así que, bueno, por aquí yo, de hecho, hablando de enlaces, el día, la otra semana vamos a hablar de Coin2. Y solo para que ya venga un poquito como familiarizado con el tema, tengo este enlace que me pareció muy interesante. Para que ustedes puedan como ir respondiendo algunas preguntas ahí. Ok, so, ahí está el enlace. Ustedes lo, lo visualizan, lo trabajan. Si no logran trabajarlas todas, pues por lo menos pues elijan una 10 para que el día lunes ya iniciemos con algo como ya más, más de lleno, que ¿Okay? no iniciar desde cero, sino que ustedes ya traigan algún conocimiento previo, que de hecho creo que ya lo vimos el, el going to, pero eh, 
como está a un nivel un poquito más adelantado, básico 3, entonces quiere decir que vamos a ver un poquito eh, más a fondo el tema. Ok. So, I don't know if you have any question, any doubt, some comments. This is the time. No question. Ah, no questions. No comments. Solo recordarles que uh, Michael got into the class. Solo record, Michael, there is a link. Michael, are you there? Can you listen to me, Michael? Yes, teacher, yes. Okay. Acá comparto un enlace, Michael, que van a utilizar para el día lunes. Son preguntas que hay que contestar con going to. Ok. Ok. Um, solo les voy, a, les voy a pedir y les voy a recordar siempre la importancia de trabajar la plataforma. Eh, estamos cerrando la semana 3 y hay que, hay que completar, hay que trabajarla a modo de que no se nos vaya este, sí. acumulando el trabajo. Y que el, si primero Dios cerramos jueves, que ese mismo día yo pueda enviar los informes de cada uno de ustedes y pues que el proceso se agilice, ¿verdad? Para que ya puedan ustedes estar en un nuevo nivel de inglés. Um, la verdad los felicito porque, bueno, a muchos de ustedes los he, ven he, he venido trabajando desde el básico 1, si mal no recuerdo. Ok, y pues yo realmente noto avances, noto avances significativos en, en que en tres meses, pero la clave la tienen ustedes, ¿verdad? Yo so, nada más les digo, miren, hay que invertir tiempo fuera de las dos horas que nosotros tenemos acá y ya luego entrar a las clases con algo, con algo que ustedes han adquirido. Okay. Um, well, si no hay preguntas, si no hay eh, comentarios, pues creo que nos vamos a quedar acá. Solo permítanme, quiero ver, este, tengo 14 participantes, solo voy a pasar la lista y ahí cerramos. Aidan. Present teacher. Okay, Aidan. Belén. Daniel. Present teacher. Edgar. Gladys. Jonathan. José Daniel. Present teacher. Uh, Juan Fernando. Present teacher. María Elba. Mario Cristóbal. Berenice. Present. Merlin. Present teacher. Michael. I'm here. Aníbal. I'm uh, here, teacher. Xiomara. Present, teacher. Ronald. Teresa. Vera Liz. And Jansen. Ok, entonces la propuesta eh, es sorpréndanos con algo el día lunes, puede ser un speech recuérdense que ahorita yo he visualizado que necesitamos que okay, necesitamos trabajar ok, Ronan, I got your message in the chat, necesitamos trabajar nuestra fluidez cuando oigan a los teachers de hablar de fluidez no es que usted va, le, va, le va como a lo más rápido que puede no, sino fluidez es hablar con naturalidad y, y, con, y que una conversación pueda fluir adecuadamente, ¿verdad? Sin, sin estar como hesitando al momento de, de estar hablando, sino que tenemos que llegar a un punto en donde ustedes pues automáticamente eh, logren como darle vuelta al CD, como que si tuviésemos un CD en, en nuestro cerebro y dijéramos, bueno, hoy voy a ocupar inglés y le damos vuelta. 
y ya luego a lo mejor pues lo regresamos a español y eso sucede automáticamente, pero para llegar ahí necesitamos practicar muchísimo, ¿ok? Muchísimo y la práctica no la podemos dejar de lado. Tampoco podemos este, eh, creer que en 120 minutos diarios, la verdad que es, es, es un buen tiempo, eh, está muy bien pensado los 120 minutos, pero si nosotros queremos avanzar un poquito más, podemos tomar o invertir más tiempo fuera de clase. Así que los dejo con ese mensaje y espero verlos el lunes. Good night and have a nice weekend. Good night, teacher. Okay, okay. Thanks, teacher. Good night. God bless, God bless you. God bless everybody. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye.